Hey Adventures, we're on our way to Grand Rapids to go to Art Prize. Now Art Prize is a art festival that they have local people or anybody really can submit their artwork and if they're accepted then they disperse it all throughout the city of Grand Rapids. It's outside, it's inside, it's in museums and restaurants and bars and lots of different places and you kind of get to go on a scavenger hunt almost to search for amazing artwork. We already researched two pieces that we want to see. We're going to see a picture of Abraham Lincoln because he is my favorite president, second to Barack Obama of course. And then we're going to see an amazing uh, mix of glass and metal, and it's a giant horse. So those are the two that we're for sure going to go see, and the rest we will discover on our way. Art Prize, the scavenger hunt for adults. You ready to go see some artwork? Yes, ready. Oh look, honey, there's a thing right there. We found our very first art prize find. Check it out. Look at that. So it's a sculpture that's called the nest. It's made of metal. And the clouds are back up. It's pretty awesome. Wherever you go, you gotta look for artwork. And here we are coming upon some more artwork. This is cool. How do you feel about this one? I like it. There's more. I like it too. Over that one. It looks like maybe some kids had something to do with it too. You see? Cool. Oh, there's more over here. The same artist.
and there's some kind of siren. I have no idea what's going on, but we're gonna keep looking for artwork. Did you see the one made out of chicken wire? Over there? That's totally all chicken wire, which by the way, we need to do the chicken wire tomorrow, I think. Isn't that cool? No power. That's crazy. I knew what I was doing. No, I'm not. I knew he had to slow down because that other car was turning. I'm a city girl. I don't know what I'm doing. He thinks I gotta wait for traffic. He does not know who he's with right now. Clearly. Shy girl, Shy girl doesn't wait for traffic. Shy girl's gonna die, girl. No, no, no. <laughs> Do you know how many times I have bobbed and weaved my way through city traffic? Yes. Over there is Rosa Parks Circle. We want to go there. I love Rosa Parks. given a new definition to a Sharpie addiction. I kind of have one, a little one. So now my wheels are turning, of course. Especially since my husband says I have to submit something to Art Prize next year. So I'm, I need to come up with an idea. <laughs> right there. Are these lights not working too? They're all out. Is it the whole downtown that lost power? Oh, we're here! Yay! Here we are. Look at these, honey. They're so pretty, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. Nice. Yeah. Cheers. Touch. Oh wow. These are my plywood tables. Plywood, oh they're tables. How long did it take to carve each one? Over a hundred, oh uh, the carving is only two and a half hours. Really? Yeah, these are carved by a robot that I drove. Oh my gosh. But the drawings, the ink drawings took all winter. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh. Really? Yeah, these are cut by a robot that I programmed with are based on my ink drawings. That is amazing. These are tables. Custom furniture, and so that artwork has become a table. Somewhere in here is Abraham Lincoln. Wow, there's a lot of artwork in here. Oh wow, what's that? Is there like a map or something that we can get? All right, well we'll just look. You wanna go see this one? we're supposed to write something on the paper and then we put it into the artwork and it becomes part of the artwork. So something that you want to let go of, an emotion or something, then you write it on the paper and you throw it in. So I think we should do it. I think we should do it. I've got to write something. I think I'm going to write more than one because I have, you know, a few things I should work on. So you get this piece of paper. And then you write it on it. So I wrote anxiety, control, and expectations. I will work on those. And he wrote fear of the 
unknown. So now we crumble these and we're gonna throw them over here and it's gonna become one with the artwork. So now we've crumbled these and we're gonna put our fears, our anxiety, our expectations, our control into the artwork. It's called letting go. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. With the I'm all set. You're all set. So we just became one with the artwork. So now we're a part of her art. That's pretty cool. She said if we go past the fountain. Oh, he's right there. Look, 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 he's right there. Do you see him? He's huge. He's huge. There he is. So one reason that we wanted to see the Abraham Lincoln's art is because it's an art prize winner. I think it is the winner. It won the grand prize for, what was it honey, like $220,000 or something? Oh, $200,000 was the prize. And he's made out of complete pennies. So. From the time that the penny had its face on it, I believe it was 1909 till 2017. It's so cool. heard him say that it takes it took him about a month or so to collect the pennies I don't know how only a month but and the silver parts are when they stopped making the pennies out of copper for a while because of a copper shortage so where to next honey the horse figure out the what the museum side. Oh. It was a little too hard to do this inside, so let me give you some facts about this Abraham Lincoln painting that I love so much. It says that it approximately took 24,500 pennies. It is 96 square feet large. The weight of all the pennies is 140 pounds, but the total weight of the actual painting itself is 400 pounds. He used five pounds of glue and it took him 465 hours to complete. So I would say a masterpiece, yes, and an amazing artist, yes. Looks like someone painted a canvas and then stuck it in the Grand Rapids River. It's so cool. So we're looking for the horse. We're at the Van Andel Museum Center. There's lots of sculptures, but we don't see the horse. Can you double people's cars are artwork around here. <laughs> we gotta cross the street and go back to the other direction to go to the art museum. The internet is giving us conflicting information. So now this is saying that we have to go back to the Grand Rapids Public Museum but Larry said that the other time it said the art museum, so somebody's not getting their story straight, but we're gonna figure it out. We have to find it now. We're not leaving this area till we do, right? Right, it's like finding a leprechaun. Exactly, it's like <laughs> finding a leprechaun, which is really hard in the middle of October, or the beginning of October. Either way, it's not March. Larry's been trying to look on the news websites for the information on Art Prize and now all of the information on Art Prize has taken a back seat to this giant power outage in downtown Grand Rapids. We still have no idea why the power went out. All we know is we've been walking around for about an hour and it's still out. We're back to the Grand Rapids. What is this? The Grand Rapids Public Museum? Yeah. We're going to go around and hopefully we'll find this horse. 
great news. I just caught a glimpse of the horse. We found it. My husband was right. I hear that very often. Hey, what did you just say? I hear that very often. Because <laughs> it doesn't happen very often. Love you. <laughs> and there she is. Wow. So this horse has glass and metal and light. painted this with my favorite colors. So honey, do you think we've seen everything that we're going to see today? Yeah. Because I, that is uh, definitely There's some rain coming adventures, so we're going to wrap up our art prize for the year. Walking around for a good couple of hours. And I think we saw some pretty cool art, so we're going to head home. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Art prize 2017. And we'll see. Woo -woo. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. Bye!